Good day and welcome to these to your first video lesson of unit three. Uh, today's topic is system of equations and today's goal to determine how to solve a system of equations graphically with and without technology. Uh, so we're going to solve systems of equation by graphing and we're going to start without technology and we're just going to talk about what the solution to a system of equations actually is. Uh, each of the given lines on this graph the ones that you see right here, they have an infinite number of points that make their equations true. When the equations of two lines are considered together, they're actually called a system. So this red line and the blue line together make up a system. And there is one and only one point that will work on both systems. Because uh, if I pick this point, it's on the blue line, but it's not on the red line. So it will make the equation in the blue line true but it won't make the equation of the red line true. Uh, there's only one point that will make the equation of both the blue line and the red line true. And that is this point right here where the two intersect. Uh, and in this case, that is the point two comma one. So if I had the equations of these two lines, when x equals two and y equals one, I could sub those in and get a true uh, equation for both those lines. Now we're going to see a little bit more when we actually start working with the equations, but this is what we're looking for. When for the solution to a system of equations by graphing, you are looking for the intersection point between the two lines. Okay. And so we're always looking for the intersection. So now we're going to graph lines by hand and try and find the intersection point. So here I have two equations, and the two equations together make up a system of equations. I'm going to call this equation 1, and I'm going to call this equation 2. Now, I need to graph them on here, so we still have to know how to graph a line. I'm going to rearrange this first equation into y equals mx plus b form by subtracting the 2x on both sides. So this one's pretty easy right now. Uh, I go to negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5 on the y-axis, and then my slope is negative 2. So that's negative 2 over 1, so my rise is negative 2 and my run is 1, which actually puts me off the grid. But if I follow the same pattern backwards, I get as many lines as I need. And so we'll put that line on the graph. Now make sure it's nice and long and that it goes through all the points because we want it accurate because we're actually looking for the one point that is going to be on both of our lines. So there we go. That's our line. Now the other line, this one, um, we can rearrange into y equals mx plus b form as well. So the easiest thing to do is to add 3y on both sides. And so I get 2x plus 9 on this side. And on the other side, I have 3y. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I get a y on this side and a 2 thirds x plus 3 on that side. So now when I graph that line, I'm going to pick a different color to do that with. Um, it has a y-intercept of 3, because the number all by itself is the y-intercept. And then I'm looking for the slope, which is up to forward 3. So up to forward 3. And we can do that as many times as we want, or we can backtrack it this way. Go down 2 and backwards 3, so that we get nice points. Now I'm going to draw that line. And once again, we want to try and make sure it's accurate. Uh, and it looks like we have an intersection point all nice and pretty right here. And that is the intersection point negative 3, comma 1. So that means x is negative 3 and y is 1. And that means if I sub an x of negative 3 and a y of 1 into that equation, or if I solve an x is negative 3 and a y is 1 into that equation, I'm going to end up having the same thing on both sides of my equation. It's going to make the equation true. And we're just going to do a quick check to see if that equation is true, uh, or to see if that point actually works. So checking your answer. 
when you check an answer, you're making sure that it works in both equations. To do this, you sub your answer for x and y back into the equation and be careful to keep both sides separate, the left side and the right side, because we're checking to see if we're equal, they're equal. We don't know if they're equal. So these are the two equations we were looking at, and we got the point negative 3 comma 1. So what we have to do is check them in a left side, right side check. So the left side of this first equation is y plus 2x. Now the y we found was 1 plus 2. The x we found is negative 3. So that's 1 minus 6 or negative 5, which just happens to be what we have on the right side. The right side is negative 5, which means that it makes my equation true. The left side equals the right side. And so that point that I just found here, this point up here, is definitely on that line and it makes the equation true. Now we're going to take a look at this one over here. The left side of this equation is 2x minus 3y plus 9, and I'm going to sub in what I got for x and y. So 2 times, again, we've got negative 3, so 2 times negative 3, negative 3 times y, and our y was 1, plus 9. So that's negative 6 minus 3 plus 9 is 0, which just happens to be what we had on the right-hand side of the equation. So when I subbed in, negative 3, 1, it made this equation true, which means that we got the right answer. Those were the numbers we were looking for, so, and it worked in both equations. So a quick recap, if we just uh, find, graph the two equations and find where they intersect, we have found the solution to our system of equations. We have found the one answer for x and y that makes both of those equations true. So now we're actually going to do it with some technology and we're going to do it with the graphing calculator. So uh, I'm going to pull up my graphing calculator here. See, it looks like the printout that you got. I'm going to pull it over here though. Okay. Uh, when you get your calculator, the first thing you should do is, well, turn it on. Uh, the on button is um, down at the bottom. And so we're going to press on right there. And you don't know what other people have been doing with your calculator. So once you turn it on, you should clear the memory. And if you see way up here, I have that we're going to clear that memory. So you go second plus 712. And it tells you the RAM has been cleared. So that's great. Now. The question says, solve the following system by using the graphing calculator. Now, the graphing calculator is kind of stupid. You have to actually change it into y equals mx plus b form uh, for the calculator to be able to read it. So the first thing we're going to do is change this into y equals mx plus b form by subtracting 2x on both sides. And then it's a little bit longer for the next one, but I'm going to add 3y to both sides. And we have 2x plus 9 equals 3y. And divide both sides by 3. So I have 2 thirds x plus 3 equals y. Now the calculator can graph it. And we had to do that when we graphed by hand anyway. So now we're going to put it on the graphing calculator. All equations to be graphed, you put them in the key y equals. So when you press y equals, it looks like that. And we're going to use the key xt theta n, um, which is right beside the green alpha key. And we're going to enter these two equations. So the first equation we're going to enter, negative 5. And make sure you use the negative button. The negative button is the, um, is the one at the bottom um, down here. We're going to use the negative button. 5, then we have to use the subtraction key, which is the blue key, uh, and 2x. Now we're going to, uh, and we can press graph and see what it looks like. So there's our equation graphed on the graphing calculator. And 
we go back into y equals and go down to y2 so we can graph the second line. 2 thirds is 2 divided by 3. Uh, and then we need our x and then plus 3. And when we graph it this time, we're going to see our two lines. And we can see the intersection point. So we've got the two lines graphed there. And there they are. That's what they look like. Should look like that. Now to find where they intersect, let's pull that calculator back. To find where they intersect, we're going to press second trace. Second trace. And you can see number five says intersect. So that's the one we're going to choose. We're going to choose five. And now we have to press. Uh, it's going to ask you some questions, but we can just kind of uh, ignore the questions. It says first curve, um, just answer by pressing enter. Second curve, just answer that by pressing enter. You would use, you would need the first curve, second curve if there was more than two lines on the grid, so you could tell the calculator which two lines you wanted. But since there's only two, you just hit enter, enter. And then when it says guess, it wants you to go as close to the intersection point as you can. Uh, but since there's only one intersection point as well, and for some graphs, there's more than one. So the calculator is just a big generic question. Um, you just have to press enter again. So it was just enter, enter, enter. And it tells us the intersection point is negative 3, negative 1. And it's going to look like that. And that's the answer. And so you have a few questions that I want you to do. Um, and I'll go quickly uh, over this process just one last time on here. Um, the first thing you have to do is clear the, your memory. Make sure everything's in y equals mx plus b form. It will not graph if it's not in y equals mx plus b form. Uh, and then um, you press second trace. Choose five for intersect. And you go enter, enter, enter right after you choose 5 for intersect. And that's it. That is solving equations by graphing.